Hey guys, this is Strong K and uh, welcome to the uh, first installment of my new video series called uh, Yay It's Free, uh, where I basically want to talk about games that you can get for free on the internet, um, you know, legally, obviously, and uh, you know, that I deem, you know, interesting or interesting to talk about or that in another way have uh, piqued my, you know, curiosity. So, um, what I really do not want to talk about, I'm not going to discuss here are demos because I want those games to basically stand on their own and uh, you know to be judged on their own merits so to speak um, although I'm going to use judge uh, rather loosely here um, because you know the creators don't really ask other than you know a portion of your time they don't ask for much here um, so yeah that's why they're free um, also what I want to do really is uh, to keep this video short because those games tend to be short and you know unless I wanted to uh, present or discuss these games exhaustively it wouldn't make a lot of sense to stretch out those videos um, mainly also because I want you guys to be able to enjoy them you know find out at least portions of the games for yourselves uh, play them enjoy them discuss them leave comments pass them on to friends I don't know and um, so that's why I try to keep this as short as I can. Um, so for the first video, I choose um, the Majesty of Colors, uh, which is a flash game available on various sites. Uh, I'll leave links, or at least one link, in the description of the video, so you can you know check it out for yourself. Um, right. Last night I had a dream. Okay, I'm not going to read out those. Uh, you know text here, the on-screen text, because personally I find it pretty ir irritating if uh, people do that. So, you know, you're perfectly fine with you know, reading this stuff by yourselves, I guess. Um, Alright, there we are. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, the game goes for, you know, something, somewhat of them like 8-bit aesthetics here. And, uh, which is cool with me, you know, it's free, it's a flash game. And um, we are, we play as this sea creature down here, you know, you can see its eyes moving. Um, and uh, yeah, seems to have sprung out of like, you know, an H.P. Lovecraft story, like a horror story or what have you, you know, like the Cthulhu mythos, really, and uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing Cthulhu right, um, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think also H.P. Lovecraft intended for his you know, cosmology to be somewhat unpronounceable, so I guess. And, uh, yeah, basically what we can do here, we can interact with the environment, with the screen here, with our tentacle, and, you know, by pointing the mouse cursor and just clicking on stuff, we can grab things uh, with our uh, tentacle here. So, you know, I'll pick up this balloon, can move it around, and then also I can, you know, submerge it, take a look at it. Right, and now for the first time in its life, the sea creature, you know, sees colors and uh, falls in love with it. Right. So this is basically how the game works, as you can see. You know, you're presented with a situation with a screen, and then depending on how you interact with this situation, um, the story propels in one way or another. So, um, you know, by grabbing things. So here, I have to grab this guy on on this jet ski. And uh, basically, I'm left with the decision to either uh, let him go, or uh, I don't know. I can like move this guy around, or I can, you know, submerge him also. And then you can see that uh, he has this uh, blue bar appearing next to him. That's his air meter. So if I uh, submerge this guy for long enough then he's gonna die. I'm gonna drown him. Um, but we are a nice sea monster so we're gonna send this guy back on his way and you know then you're presented with another situation and uh, another situation really and um, yeah. Okay now we have the, those guys. This. Uh, it's like fishermen here, these fishermen. And 
right. So you know, as you can read, like uh, the tools, like it was like they're trying to catch some fish here. So I could probably uh, let me see. Yeah, either uh, choose to like provide them with the fish that they want, or you know, as with the um, let's do this real quick. Yeah, as with the uh, guy on the jet ski, just pick them up and then like, you know, move them around, drop them in the water, and uh, this guy too, I guess. This fish. Fish two. All right. Let's see. Take this back. Yeah, there's nothing seems to be happening here. So let's uh, drown one of those dudes because you know I need all the fish that I can get. I'm a huge sea monster and um, can't really use any competition. You know, when it comes to um, my nourishment. Let's put it that way. Okay. Oh, that means we should be able to lose it to the top. Right. Oh, the humans hate us. Look at that. So, yeah, sea monster death is, I think, what that means. Right. Okay, yeah, so they're sending the. I guess the Navy would like the military after us. Consequently, so let's pick up those guys. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're dropping bombs in the water mines. Oh, let's see, let's. What'd you taste? Real medicine. Oh, dude, a submarine in a, in a plane. Can I drop this on you? Okay. Can I kill those guys? Oops. Okay, uh, now they're... Oh, fuck. So this is not really hard. I mean, you know, it's it's um, somewhat hectic, but, you know, it, the game is not really challenging in that way. Uh, it basically uh, is all about, um, you know, making a decision and then seeing the consequences and acting accordingly. Right. Puny humans, no match for my magnificence, obviously. Uh, as I, you know, sunk the submarine early on. Um, and it was all a dream. So yeah, again, this like, you know, this harkens back to the whole uh, Cthulhu thing, uh, you know, where Cthulhu lies in the, uh, lies dormant in the city of, uh, what's it called? This underwater city, Lai, I think, or something like that. So yeah, um, that's sort of like a cool, you know, to add some cool flavor to, to the story, if you will. The, yeah, you know, not much of a you know, story to speak of, really. Uh, however, you know, you apparently have five endings, so I just unlocked the last one, ending E. So yeah, if you think this is for you, if you think this is interesting, uh, head over to the site, check it out for yourself, try to discover the other endings, uh, you know, leave a comment, uh, see how you like it. And uh, other than that, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Alright, thanks.